Hey all, uh, my name is Julian, trail name Sardines. I did a flip-flop through hike of the AT this past year, and I'm gonna talk about money on the Appalachian Trail. So how much did I spend? So I'm gonna break it down for you. So uh, non-trail expenses, so not counting any gear, not even, so yeah, on trail, not counting any gear, not even purchased gear along trail, like not counting shoes I bought or you know something that broke, just like trail expenses came to, God, I have the flash on it, it's hurting my eyes, uh, 6500 more or less, $6,500. Um, now, just two little disclaimers or things I want to mention here. Um, my hike was a little different than I would say the average person through hiking the trail. So correcting for extra expenses, um, I would say... That extra expenses that most people would not encounter, that brings it down to about 4,500 on trail. No gear, not, not talking about any gear. Um, and those extra expenses came to about uh, $1,000 of transportation. I got off trail like six times and went home, so rental car, buses, they added up. Um, and a lot of the hike I was doing alone uh, not in peak season, and I didn't feel totally comfortable hitching, so I did Ubers when I was alone. Um, so that was like a thousand bucks total extra. Um, and then uh, about a few hundred in medical bills, uh, I would say most people don't encounter. Um, and then uh, about 750 in like my own hotel room. Um, I was near the end of the trail. I was treating myself on some uh, nicer hotels, not staying in hostels. So so that came to about two, th that's like 2,000 of extra expenses that most people wouldn't encounter. So um, so not counting for that, it's 4,500 on trail expenses. And that's actually less than I expected. When I was planning this through hike, I wasn't planning on those extra expenses. And I was budgeting, like expecting to spend six or $7,000. And I spent 4,500. Um, now that breaks down. I'll tell you how that breaks down. Um, so that 4,500 basically breaks down into three categories, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, 1,400 in groceries. So just going to a grocery store, um, comes out to about $8 a day. I had about six months on trail. Um, and restaurants, this was the big one, 1,900. $1,900 on restaurants, and lodging, uh, about 1000 if you don't count the my own hotel room, the more expensive stuff. So um, so 1700 total on lodging I spent, but 1000 into that uh, 4500 So, and, and that's pretty good. That's for like, that's like a hostel every, you know, three days. And maybe if I stayed in hostels instead of the nicer hotels, like, uh, you know, for that extra stuff, it might have been like under fifteen hundred still total lodging expense. So, rule of thumb, I would say forty five hundred. Um, and I'll get into like how after I go over my expenses, I'm going to get into like how you can do this cheaper or you know what what can drive costs basically. Um, all right, so that's that. Okay, uh, now I'll tell you about um, gear expenses. So. Uh, total amount I spent on gear, this includes buying gear before the trail and on the trail, was $4,000. $4,000. Now, uh, the amount of gear that I bought along the trail, this includes like extra shoes, like things that came up that I guess I didn't expect, um, that was about 600 of that, okay? Now, uh, gear, this is the, here's an interesting thing. So, Take away 600 from 4,000, you get about 3,500, all right? Um, now, I ditched a lot of gear on the trail. I, I shed about eight pounds from my base weight from when I started, and that came to about 1,600 in gear that I ditched. So, uh, so that's pretty substantial. Now, just the big ones, there was a GoPro there and a $200 personal locator beacon that I would say most people don't have. So those are kind of some outliers there. So most people don't really make that many changes. But I thought that was interesting to point out, you know, all different changes I, I made along the trail. Uh, so my final gear loadout, so basically the 
money that I spent on gear before leaving for the trail, um, minus what I got rid of, so only what I'm left, plus what I bought along the trail, came out to about 2400 So basically, everything in my pack, as I, I finish the trail, everything in my pack right now, um, well, some of that shoes, so extra shoes, so little between maybe 2200 or so is like the final value of my gear 13 pound base weight that worked for me so um so my recommendation for that starting out for the trail i would say you know maybe for a good lightweight set you know 2000 and then you'll spend a few more hundred along the trail you know maybe budget 2500 so um so that's that so i hope that was clear um I think that's everything that those are all my notes about dollar amounts. So yeah, so total was ten thousand five hundred on trail. Um, but again, you know, I splurged on a couple categories there. So keep that in mind. Um, and you you can sell your gear at the end also. You can recoup some of that money. Um, I would also recommend having some money when you get back into civilization afterwards to you know hold you over until you get a job. Um, you know, however you plan on doing that. Uh, so the trail can be done very cheaply. There are some stories here and there of people who have done it for a thousand, two thousand, three thousand in that range. Um, you know, and as you saw, the fourteen hundred was my only grocery expenses. Like theoretically, you know, theoretically it's all they need to survive plus your gear. Um, and there are some people who can get who have like who have published online gear sets costing like under a thousand dollars, even less. Um, so yeah, so fourteen hundred grocery, you know, lodging and restaurants, that's stuff that that's like, you know, you you cannot do that. Um, but it's it is hard. Like when you've been out I think this experience can be more enjoyable if you can have some extra money to spend on restaurants and lodging. I think a lot of the trail experience is actually town life. You know, sure you could just hike and eat your food that you bought at the grocery store and get to town, go to the grocery store and go right back out. But when you've been hiking for a few days and eating that, you know, that stuff repeatedly, like, it's not the greatest food. Like, you kind of want to take, you know, have a burger at a restaurant. Burgers and pizza I craved a lot. That was really nice. And you make friends and your friends want to go out too. You want to hang out. Um, you know, you might want to have a couple beers. You, uh, and then, you know, you want to get to a, a hostel too. You know, when it, if it's hot out, you want air conditioning. If it's cold out, you want heat you know, comfortable bed once in a while. And the hostel is really just, I find it like a good place to just chill, you know, get some place to put your pack while you go to a restaurant in town and resupply, um, a place to shower, a place to do laundry. I mean, yes, you can pay for showers and laundry independently, usually about five bucks each. Um, but the hostel itself may cost like 25 to 35 with that. So, um, so I found with, with that budget, I would spend, uh, Probably, I would do a hostel probably every th four days average, three, four days, um, and maybe a zero day once every week to week and a half. Um, zero day would be two nights in lodging. And I would eat in restaurants. I would eat in restaurants comfortably during that time. So 1,900 restaurants. And I'm going to post these numbers in the comments so you can refer to them during this video. Yeah, so 1,900 restaurants and, uh, you know, 1,500 or so gear. I mean, uh, lodging. So, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's basically it. I can't really think of anything else. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.